For city leaders, continuing the success and growth downtown remains high on their list of priorities, despite challenges coming into play with the redevelopment of buildings and handling city dynamics. As the alderman that oversees most of downtown Rockford, Chad Thunberg says he's disappointed in the results of last night's vote. And going forward, they need to be more willing to help. As our downtown grows, especially in the residential sector, it is extremely uh, important that the city assists. And he says issues such as this make it far from an isolated incident. That it is sometimes difficult to do business in Rockford. Uh, sometimes those comments are not warranted, but sometimes they are, unfortunately. However, John Groh, the president of the Rockford Area Convention and Visitors Bureau and board president for the River District Association, sees the opposite happening in downtown. I see pros, positive momentum, progress, um, and and I hear uh, from business owners, you know, things that are favorable about uh, operating downtown. And For Thunberg, when a company is willing to invest in downtown the way Iconic Energy wants to, the city needs to be accommodating to get projects passed. Without flexibility in working with these private business owners, especially when they're dropping $22 million into a project, uh, you know, we, we need to have some flexibility there. The city's commitment to growth is evident for Grow. All you have to do is look around downtown Rockford. And now the great results of properties like the Embassy Suites or the Sports Factory or, um, you know, just down the river, the uh, Prairie Street Brew House. These are not easy projects to get done, but they do get done. Following last night's no, I spoke with Iconic Energy's owner, Teague Dickey, this afternoon, who says they are, quote, working on things. Back over to you, Derek. All right, a lot to follow there. Thank you, Emily.